Hello everyone, welcome back to SuperCloud 2. I'm John Furrier, my co-host Dave Vellante here at theCUBE in Palo Alto, California for our live stage performance all day for SuperCloud 2, unpacking this next generation movement in cloud computing. Dave, SuperCloud 1 was in August. We had great response and acceleration of that momentum. We had some haters too, we had some folks out there, you know, throwing shade on this, but at the same time, a lot of leaders came out of the woodwork, a lot of practitioners, and this SuperCloud 2 event, I think will expose and illustrate some of the examples of what's happening in the industry, and, and more importantly, kind of where it's going. Well, it's great to be back in our studios in Palo Alto, John. It seems like just yesterday was August 9th, where we, the community was really refining the definition of SuperCloud. We were identifying the essential characteristics with some of the leading technologists in Silicon Valley. We were digging into the deployment models. Whereas this SuperCloud, SuperCloud 2, is really taking a practitioner view. We're going to hear from Walmart today. They've built the SuperCloud. They called it the Walmart Cloud Native <laughs> Platform. We're going to hear from other data practitioners like SACS. We're going to hear from Western Union. They've got 200 locations around the world, how they're dealing with data sovereignty. And of course, we've got some local technologists and practitioners coming in, analysts, consultants, the CUBE community. I'm really excited to be here. And we got some great keynotes from executives at VMware. We're going to expose some of the things that they're working on around cross cloud services, which leads into multi-cloud. I think the practitioner angle is, highlights my favorite part of this program, because you're starting to see the builders, a, a term coined by Andy Jassy, early days of AWS, that builder movement has been continuing to go, and you're seeing the enterprise, global enterprises, adopt this builder mentality with cloud native. This is going to power the next generation global economy, and I think the role of the com cloud computing vendors like AWS, Azure, Google, Alibaba, are going to be the source engine of innovation and what gets built on top of and with the clouds will be a big significant market value for all businesses and their business models. So I think the market wants the super cloud, the business models are pointing to super cloud, the technology needs super cloud, and society from an economic standpoint and from a use case standpoint needs super cloud. You're seeing it today. Everyone's talking about chat GPT. This is an example of what will come out of this next generation and it's just getting started. So to me, you're either on the super cloud side of the camp or you're on the old school, hugging onto the old school mentality of, wait a minute, that's cloud computing. So I think if you're not on the super cloud wave, you're going to be driftwood. And that's a, a term coined by Pat Gelsinger. And this is really the reality. Are you on the super cloud side or are you on the old, hugging the old model? And that's going to be a determinant. And you're going to see who's going to be the players on that day. This is going to be a real big year. Everybody's heard the phrase, follow the money. Well, my philosophy is follow the data. <laughs> and that's a big part of what SuperCloud 2 is because the data is where the money is across the clouds. And people want more simplicity or greater simplicity across the clouds. So it's really, there's two forces here. You've got the ecosystem that's saying, hey, you know, the hyperscalers have done a great job, but there's problems that they're not solving. So we're going to lean in and solve those problems. At the same time, you have the practitioners saying, we have multi-cloud, we, we have to deal with this help us, it's got to be simpler because we want to share data across clouds. We want to build data products. We want to monetize and drive revenue and cut costs. This is the key thing. The builder movement is hitting a wall and that wall will be broken down because the business models of the companies themselves are demanding that the value from the data with security has to be embedded. So I think you're going to see a big year this next year or so where the builders will accelerate through this next generation. Super cloud wave will be a builder's wave for business. And I think that's going to be the nuance here. And all the people that are on the, on the side of SuperCloud are all pro-business, pro-technology. The ones that aren't are like, wait a minute, I used to do things differently. They're stuck. And so I think this is going to be a question of, are we stuck? Are builders accelerating? Will the business models develop around it? That's digital transformation. At the end of the day, the market's, the market's speaking, Dave. The market wants more. Chat GPT, you're seeing AI start to flourish, powered by data. It's unstoppable, super cloud's unstoppable. One of our headliners today is Jamak Deghani, the creator of Data Mesh. We've got some news around her. She's going to be live in studio. Super excited about that. Kit Colbert in uh, super cloud, the first super cloud in, in last August, laid out an initial architecture for super cloud. He's going to advance that today, tell us what's changed and really dig into, and really talk about the, the meat on the bone, if you will. And we've got some other technologists that are coming in saying, hey, is it a platform? Is it an architecture? What's the right model here? So we're going to debate that a little bit today. And before we close, I'll just say, look at the guests, look at the talk tracks. You're seeing a diversity of startups doing cloud networking. You're seeing big practitioners building their own thing, being builders for business value and business model advantages. And you got companies like VMware who have been on, on the wave of virtualization. 
So the, everyone who's involved in Supercon, they're seeing it. They're on the front lines. They're seeing the trend. They are riding that wave, and they have, they're bringing data to the table. So to me, you look at who's involved, and you judge it that way. To me, that's the way I look at this. And because we're making it open, uh, SuperCloud is going to continue to be debated, but more importantly, the result's going to come in. The market supports it, the business needs it, the tech's there, and will it, will it happen? So I think the builder's movement, Dave, is going to be big to watch, and then ultimately how that business transformation kicks in. I think that's the, those are the two variables that I would watch on SuperCloud. Our, our, our mission has always been around free content, giving back to the community, so I really want to thank our, our sponsors today. We've had a great partnership with, with VMware, who's not only contributed some financial support, but also great content, yeah. Alkira, Chaos Search, Prosimo, all you know, phenomenal, allowing us to achieve our mission of serving our audiences and really trying to give more than we take from- Free content, industry. that's our mission. Dave, great to kick it off. Kick, kicking off SuperCloud 2, all day we've got some great programs here. Um, we've got VMware coming up next, we're here from Vittoria Villaringo, he's been on before. He's got a great vision for cross-cloud cross service. We've got also a keynote with Kit Colbert, who's going to lay out the fragmentation and the benefits that that solves from solvent fragmentation in silos, breaking down the silos and bringing multi-cloud future to the table via SuperCloud. So stay with us. We'll be right back after this short break. Mm -hmm.